Pfizer BioNTech today submitting its application to the FDA for emergency use authorization for its new COVID vaccine targeting both the original and Omicron variants of the virus. Let's talk to Upstate Global Health Director, Dr. Stephen Thomas. Dr. Thomas, good to see you. Um, what, what, what does this mean, Pfizer's application? They put it in, doesn't mean it's being read exactly this second, but uh, in terms of when shots will be available, because that's what we're all waiting on is when will we get our next shot? Yeah, so, you know, we, the FDA and the and the groups that uh, help to advise F, the FDA have to make a decision about whether they're going to uh, accept the type of data that um, uh, Pfizer and BioNTech has provided. Uh, this data is a little bit of an extrapolation from uh, an earlier Omicron variant vaccine that was tested in humans. Um, the data they've submitted now is more a reflection of uh, laboratory tests and tests in animals. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what the what the FDA uh, has to say and whether or not they think that uh, extrapolation is sufficient. Okay, um, so maybe not as um, kind of uh, automatic as we may have thought or what we may have experienced the first time around. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. Um, you know, it seems that with every uh, kind of new new filing and new ask from all of these companies, uh, the FDA and the groups that advise them are getting a little bit more, a little bit more uh, stringent about what they're willing to um, to accept. Uh, you know, a good corollary though is influenza, right? So every year they they take the known kind of recipe and they modify it a little bit and. Um, there's no real deviation in terms of safety, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what they say. What's the situation with Moderna? Are they also in, in the works on a, on a second vaccine too, and are they in a parallel kind of path as Pfizer? Yeah, yeah I would say that it's parallel. I mean, they, they, have, they have both asked for uh, consideration for emergency use for these bivalent, uh, these bivalent vaccines, and uh, the FDA is uh, looking at the data and, and considering whether or not to, uh, to do that. Uh, that all said, uh, get your crystal ball out. Uh, what are the scenarios for the, the fall and the winter is the way you're seeing things shaping up right now? Yeah, I mean, I think if uh, BA4 and 5 remain the predominant variant uh, in, in the United States, which it looks like, a, you know, that that could potentially be the case, and we have uh, um, these bivalent vaccines come out, these Omicron-specific vaccine boosters, and uptake is uh, high within the community, then I think we could kind of stay at these levels that we're at uh, at now, which are relatively low levels compared to what we're uh, compared to what we're used to. If on the other hand, we get some new variant that kind of sweeps through and can evade all this immunity that has been imparted by infections and, and vaccination, um, or if people don't take the vaccines that are made available to them, uh, then it could become painful uh, again. So, uh, let, you know, let's, Let's hope for the first. Uh, let's hope for the first scenario. How much are you able to kind of see if there may be a new variant? Because this time last year we were we were really starting to see that Delta ramp up, and then by if I correct me if I'm wrong, by November or at least by Thanksgiving we started to see the beginning of the Omicron. Yeah. So um, and we were you know we were the uh, the point of touchdown for uh, the uh, some of the later Omicron sublineages, which was not a pleasant experience for central New York. But um, yeah, you know, they've gotten a little bit better uh, at sequencing um, more of these viruses. Sequencing is, you know, basically the genetic fingerprint of these particular of, of the viruses that are infecting people at the time. Um, and they've gotten a little bit better and faster at figuring out, is this the same? Is this different? How is it different? What do we think mm -hmm. the difference uh, the difference means? Um, there are viruses mutate. That's what they do. Most of them don't end up uh, having any staying power. Um, and, uh, you know, but we'll, we'll see. There are other variants that are out there that, uh, you know, World Health Organization and others are keeping an eye on. But right now it looks like BA4 and 5 are very well, well entrenched in the U.S. How worried are you? Just slight change of gears. How worried are you about the flu this year? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be worse than it has the last couple of years, primarily because uh, people are taking off their masks and people are are gathering. So I, I have no doubt that the flu is going to um, uh, come back. And we still have I mean, even now in the middle of the summer, we're still having a couple of influenza cases a week, at least the hospital um, that I'm at. So, um, yeah, I expect that we're going to probably get back to your normal rates of flu, which, 
you know, puts about 750,000 people in the hospital every year and kills up to 30,000 people. So you combine that with um, uh, with with COVID, and again, there's potential for uh, potential for pain. Um, easiest way to get around that is to. Uh, uh, to to get your flu vaccine um, and wear wear a mask if you're someone who's at risk. How soon do you get that flu vaccine? We got about 15 seconds to go um, because uh, places pharmacies are starting to advertise that they have it. How early do you get it? Do you wait a little? Yeah, yeah it's yeah Goldilocks, right? Not yeah. not too early, not too late, mm -hmm. right? So you want to get it too early because you want to have immunity towards the end of the season next year, you know, March April. Uh, but you don't want to get it too late in that you're going through the holidays. Uh, at, at risk. And so I would say latter half of September uh, through October is a good time to uh, roll up your sleeve. Dr. Thomas, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us again. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Jeff.